In this class, we are going to learn how to provision or create an Oracle integration instance from scratch in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle on provisioning and administering Oracle Integration 3. I will provide the link for this documentation in the resource section. You can go through this page for more details. In this document, Oracle has documented each and every step which we need to follow in order to provision or create an Oracle Integration 3 instance. Also, this is covering Oracle Integration 2 instance creation as well, but our focus of interest for this class is creating Oracle Integration 3 instance. So, first of all, we need to log into our OCI console. Then, we need to go to the developer services from the menu. Under that, we have to select application integration. I will walk you through shortly with the hands on how we can navigate in the OCI and we can create a instance. Then we need to select the appropriate compartment where we need to create like the parent or the child one. Then we need to click on the create button which will be available under the application integration page. Then we need to populate all the details like the version here we need to select the Oracle integration 3 that is the latest generation of Oracle integration providing the latest features and infrastructure technology including integration inside visual builder process automation B2B. Coming to the consumption model, so if you are seeing more than one models in the list, then your tenancy is having option for multiple consumption model. So if you are seeing only meter, then it will be based on the universal credits. Coming to the addition, in our coming classes, we will learn what are the various types of additions available in the integration like the enterprise standard and so forth things. Coming to the shape, there are two types of shapes available currently at the time of recording this class. One is a development and there was a production. Difference between both is instances with development shape will receive the updates two weeks before the instances with the production shape. So for the insights, it will differ. You can refer the note over here. Coming to the license type, you can click on this and check the various license types available like bring your own license or get a new license. You can subscribe to multiple message packs. You can click on this and you can go through the documentation like in order to understand what is the message pack. For our use case, we will consider that we are creating an instance which will subscribe to only one message pack. When you say one message pack, it can have n number of, that is a predefined number of messages which it can communicate within the particular duration. Now, without wasting much time, let us begin with our hands on. First step is you have to log into your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console. So, this is the page how it looks when you log into your OCI instance. So, from here we need to click on this navigation menu that is on the left top corner on the hamburger menu which is next to Oracle Cloud logo over here. Click on this. From here we need to select the developer services. And in the developer services, if you just scroll down, there is a section called as application integration. You can click on application integration or you can click on integration. And I will click on integrations. So, next thing is we need to select the appropriate compartment. I will select the compartment. I have selected the compartment where I have to create the Oracle integration 3 instance. Next step is we need to click on this create instance button. Click on this. Here we need to provide the name. I will provide learning 1, 2, 3. Next is the version. As we are creating the Oracle integration 3 instance, we need to select this. If you are creating Oracle integration gen 2, you can select this. Coming to the consumption model, it is not allowing me to select the other type of consumption model because my tenancy is subscribed only to use this metered model. Next is the addition. I will go for enterprise because this will have a features like visual builder, insights and few of the enterprise adapters will be available. The difference between both you can just click on this learn more and you can have a look. Also, we will learn in detail in our coming classes what are the difference between standard and enterprise additions. Coming to the shape, we can go for the development as well as the production. So, this will get the updates two weeks before the production instance. Next, coming to the license type, if you have your own license or the license which you have bought for your other middleware products previously, then you can make use of that or else you can select this, subscribe to a new Oracle integration license. With the help of this new license, you can subscribe to the message pack which will allow you to have 5000 messages. So, here if you want to increase the message packs, you can increase. If you want to know more details, you can just click on this and have a look. If you click on this show advanced options. Here you can associate this instance with some tags so that you can use for building or getting the insights in your OCI. So I will leave this default and click on create. So you will get a message on the right top corner that is new integration instance has been successfully started that is learning 1 to 3. So this will take some time in order to provision or create the Oracle integration 3 instance and the state will change from creating to active. 
we are going to pause this class until the oracle integration 3 instance gets provisioned for us and then we will resume this class our integration instance got provisioned successfully you can see with the help of this state and the state is now changed to active from creating now if you want to know the details of this instance click on this hyperlink which is the display name which we had used in order to create the integration instance suppose if you click on this you will get the url you can click on this show you can copy this url manually and paste in the browser and you can navigate to your oracle integration instance other method is you can click on this service console just click on this it will open a new tab in your web browser and it will launch you your newly created oracle integration 3 instance as you can see by clicking on the service console it has opened you the home page for your oracle integration 3 instance now we can click on this and go to design and start building your integrations and you can work with b2b observability and go to settings so this is how you have to provision your oracle integration 3 instance in oracle cloud infrastructure